skin, Big Bandish. Hey guys, Pretty Progress 23, aka Elizabeth here. Welcome back to the Acne channel. Today's video is going to be about how we can get rid of all the little bumps that you find on your face. the clogged pores, the little pus filled pimples, pretty much the surface pimples that just don't seem to go away and it ruins your whole texture of your face. So even when you apply makeup, you still can see those tiny, tiny little bumps and it just gets really frustrating. What I'm gonna do is give you eight do's, but before I break it down to those do's and don'ts, I want to kind of tell you a little bit about my story. When I was in high school, started at the age of when I was, I think 12, I started getting all these little bumps around my forehead. And yes, it was normal because everyone was getting teen pimples. It was during the time of puberty. So I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, it's gonna go away. My parents, my relatives, my siblings told me, Liz, don't worry about it. Your acne is gonna go away because it's just, what teenagers go through. And I was like, okay. And then year eight came, year nine, it just got worse and worse. And sometimes my, my skin would clear. But then out of nowhere, what I know, I found myself at the age of 17 and I still had so many little bumps on my forehead. And I tried to clear it by using antibiotics, right? It cleared for, I don't know, a few weeks and then it came all back. Uni hits. And then what I know, I start getting severe cystic pimples all over my cheeks, on my forehead, and had all little bumps as well. And it just wouldn't go away. But after years and years of trial and error, I finally found the solution. And those years of trial and error, like I'm telling you, I did so many different things. I put turmeric mixed with honey on my face. I smashed banana and mixed it with like the Indian herb that I found online. I don't even know, it's like DKL, brand or something it was a random brand on the internet which had like raving reviews very misleading by the way and it didn't really work so then i was like hmm searching up on the internet about other remedies so i mix lemon juice with baking soda which is a hell no no it's so harsh for the skin and it just made my skin just completely worse like it irritated it even more and my acne became more inflamed but Lucky for you, I have tested out so many different things and I finally found solutions that will be really helpful. Hopefully these work. Definitely comment below what you do or what you've done that hasn't worked before so then people can look at the comment section. Number one, it's recommended that you cleanse your face twice a day. Now it really depends how much makeup you wear or what you do throughout the day, but essentially your cleanser should be very, very gentle. Find a gentle cleanser that doesn't strip the skin from its natural oils. Because if you have like soaps that strip all the natural oils from your face, even though you feel really cleansed, what it's actually doing is that it is destroying the outer mantle of your skin. And what happens is your skin's like, holy moly, there's no protection. There's no oil protection on my face. So what I need to do is produce more and more sebum. And that excess sebum causes all the little bumps to form again and it's clogging your pores. This is my number one holy grail. This has very natural ingredients and it's so soothing for my skin. It calms my inflammation down and that's what your skin needs. It doesn't need any irritable, ingredients on your skin and it just slides on my skin when I rub it into my face. Number two, wash your face and your body after you exercise vigorously. This girl was messaging me and she was like, you know, uh, every time I work out, I break out and apparently when you work out, you're meant to have clearer skin. Why am I breaking out? The problem was that when she was exercising at the gym for an hour, she let the oils and the dirt and the grime stay on her skin for way too long because her gym is like 30 minutes or an hour away. And because it sat on her face for too long, it started clogging her pores. If you're at the gym and your home is 30 minutes or an hour away, what you can do is bring baby wipes, non-fragrant baby wipes, and then you can wipe your excess oil and the grime on your face, on your neck, your back, etc., and then spritz with a Booty Alexa spray. So, this is the Beauty Alexa spray that I recommend after you wipe all the grime. Or if you are near a shower, definitely shower and then hydrate your skin. Number three, make sure you're washing your hands. Honestly, these hands are gross. They're filled with oils, you touch your phone, and your phone has so much bacteria. So that kind of leads me to another point. Make sure you're disinfecting your phone washing your hands before you're touching your face. A lot of the times you don't even realize it, but you're there like scratching your forehead when you're bored, you put your hand like that on your face. 
please have, be conscious of what you're doing with your hands because your hands are grimy and they spread bacteria. And that bacteria that goes on your face causes it, those little bumps to form. Number four is keep your hair out of your face. So I often wear headbands or I tie up my hair in a little bun just so the oils on my hair do not sit on my face. If it's constantly sitting on your face, the oils of your hair will mix with the oils on your skin. And again, that will clog your pores, creating those little bumps on your skin. A lot of the times girls who wear, or men who put gel in their hair and you know dry shampoo and all these products causes those pimples to form. So definitely keep your hair out of your face. Wear a headband, tie it up, etc. If you do want to leave it out, that's okay, but make sure there's not like Nat unnatural ingredients left in your hair. Number five is a really important step and that's exfoliation. Because perhaps your skin is naturally producing a lot of oil, maybe due to hormones or genetics or depending on the products that you're using, you need to kind of help your skin out. So what I do is exfoliate and there's two different methods of exfoliation. There is the physical version and there is the chemical version. Now for the physical version, you need to be really, really careful. If you're physically exfoliating your face, it could be very detrimental in causing like little cuts in your skin if you're not doing it properly. So what I recommend is using a brush. Now this is my cleansing brush from Island Skin and this is an Australian brand. It's absolutely amazing because it's made out of silicon and silicon is antibacterial. So you know that when you're putting products on this brush and you're washing it, there's no buildup of bacteria. And it's also non-porous, so the products that you use will be on your skin instead of you know absorbed in the brush. Because I, I think Clarisonic, the hair bristles are you know pretty harsh on your skin and the products get absorbed in those hair bristles. I also love it. So I press the button. It's rechargeable if you can hear it. Yeah. And it has and it has a heat mode. So it's increasing that blood circulation, allowing the pores to like open and what it does is it really cleanses the pore in a very very gentle way and the second method is chemical exfoliation which i absolutely love it's just one of the best methods that i use in order to unclog my pores and get that smooth texture like my forehead now has no more bumps as you can see i do have a few odd pimples here and here but overall the texture of my skin is like smooth it doesn't have those little bumps anymore and i'll insert photos here and here as you can see the bumps are scattered all over my skin and it really did resemble a golden gay time but that's all right you can use these methods to heal your skin so first of all i want to talk about the banished pumpkin mask it is freshly made on the day of shipping so you get the real deal you get the organic the natural products to be on your skin it's really important what you put in your skin because your skin literally absorbs everything that you put on it so you got to be really careful there's AHA in this, which is glycolic acid, and what it basically does is it, is, it sheds away all your old skin cells and renews that new boost of collagen. And once you have collagen, it allows your skin to look fresher and smoother, and basically what you get is a smoother complexion. I really love it because all you need to do is put this on twice a week and you'll wash it all off. It's super easy to wash off and it smells divine. I also highly recommend the Scrub Me Exfoliant from Tribe and they just added two new ingredients including clay. So I'll just read out the ingredients. This has coconut milk, it has Avena oat meal, it has rice powder, white and pink clay powder, papaya powder, pineapple powder, L azorbic acid, which is vitamin C, and pomegranate, pure extract. So these ingredients are absolutely amazing for the skin. So it's powder form and what you do is you mix it with water and you scrub that into your face. So it's physically exfoliating your skin, you leave it on for like two minutes, three minutes, and then you wash it all off. And the enzymes in this powder allows you to get a smoother complexion and it removes all those clogged pores and it prevents you from getting all those little bumps. 
number six is a topical treatment. I highly recommend using 2.5 benzoyl peroxide. Now I know that this is a very controversial topical treatment because some people just highly react to the benzoyl peroxide. Personally, I have had great success with the benzoyl peroxide because what it does, it kills the bacteria on the surface of the skin and it prevents future breakouts. I experienced like two weeks of redness and flakiness and a little bit, of, kind of like a sense of itchiness at night. But over time, after using a really good moisturizer such as the Vitamin C Banish Cream or the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion, what it does is it takes time for the skin to get used to the benzoyl peroxide and over time the benzoyl peroxide will work as a charm and it will kill all the bacteria preventing a further growth of acne. Seven, keep your skin hydrated. This means that the more hydrated you are, the less oil your skin will produce. So, what I recommend is spraying your face with a vitamin C beauty elixir. Keeping that constant hydration for your skin is amazing. I spray this throughout the day and I just feel so energetic and alive. So ready? That's all you do. And then you let it dry. The last tip is drink so much water, have fruits in your system, feel alive by eating whole foods. Trust me, what you eat is what you are. Diet makes such a huge difference. Now, some people will say, look, Sometimes diet doesn't do anything for my acne, but I'm like, but why don't you just eat healthy? Don't you want to be growing with your body in a, and having that healthy relationship instead of eating junk food and oily foods? Like, even if acne is not related to diet for you personally, I still think it's really important to treat your body in a very healthy and positive manner. But each to their own. Those are my eight main tips, so I hope they help. My forehead, my cheeks have improved drastically, so I only hope the best for you. I hope you enjoy this video. I'll see you on my social media accounts, Pretty Progress 23. I'm sending you all my love and light. Mwah.